Oh, well, 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 welcome back. Check out this prompt at the top of slide 38 for the medicine bag. All his life, he treasured the medicine bag. When he was old and I was a man, he gave it to me. All right, let's highlight some key words there. I like treasure. Oh, but I don't want to do it like that. I want to use my highlighter. There we are. And he treasured the medicine bag. When he was old and I was a man, he gave it to me. I gotta get man too. What symbols are most important to Martin and Grandpa and what is important about those symbols? All right, well, that means we might wanna review what a symbol is. And here's like the little notes up there, I can see it, right? A symbol is something that stands for something else. So what are some of the things inside of that bag that symbolize something else, All right? Oh, well, I know one is iron, All right? Joe Iron Shell. I know another one is sage. And I believe another one, I might have to go back and check, but is uh, stuff from the, um, the purifying bath or sweat. And oh, the pebbles, the pebbles, yes, the pebbles. So I've got the iron sage and the pebbles. So now I've got to write the thesis up here. So how can I answer those questions in a statement? What symbols are most important to Martin and Grandpa? Iron, sage, and pebbles are most important to grandpa. And what's important about them? Because they symbolize and what seems to be important. The Lakota tribe, the Lakota tribe and family and their family. And so we should be specific. So it's not, we don't think it's the Lakota's family proper. Cool. So now I've got my thesis, which means I've also got my conclusion. I can put it right down there. Perfect. Now what specific quotes would I use? That's something for you to goof around with later. You can goof around with that later. All right. But let's take a look at a sample paragraph and see what how they do it and what quote they chose. Let's go to slide 39. Ooh. All right, we're gonna be highlighting again. And I can see up here, symbol, something that stands for or, or represents something else. Symbolism, the use of symbols that represent ideas. Well, all his life he treasured the medicine bag. When he was old and I was a man, he gave it to me. What symbols? Oh, I see symbol there. I see symbol there. I see symbolism there. Are the most important to grandpa? What is important about them? What is important about them? I'm going to highlight this American flag here and connect it to what's important because a lot of people very much value the American flag. So the symbol of iron, well, I'm going to switch it over to orange for that one. I'm going to highlight iron orange and I'm going to highlight this actual iron over here, orange too. It's important because it symbolizes family and tribe. Well, right there, I'm going to highlight family and I'm going to highlight tribe and I'm going to highlight circle this family here. There's grandpa with his cane. And I'm going to circle the tribe down here as well. His Lakota ways, I'm going to switch over to blue for this little retelling of the story. Martin spends much of the narrative embarrassed by his grandfather. So there's the grandfather and he spends a lot of the narrative embarrassed by him. His Lakota ways, there's Lakota there, there's uh, Native Americans there. His Lakota ways and traditions seem out of place to, in Martin's neighborhood. As Martin learns that embarrassment is no way to celebrate and honor his family, family spiritual leader. Honor, spiritual leader, his grandfather. Martin is initiated into the story of the medicine bag. During a spiritual quest. Oh, and I see a spiritual quest down here. Let's circle it in blue. I'm going to highlight spiritual quest. Martin's great-grandfather found a piece of white man's iron. The tribal elders gave him the name Joe Ironshell as a result. Later, he was taken from the tribe. While away, he learned blacksmithing. Oh, blacksmithing there, iron there. He returned and used his blacksmithing skill to benefit his family and tribe. Quote, at first, Ironshell kept the piece of iron with him at all times and believed it gave him protection from the evils of those unhappy days. So there's our quote. I'm going to highlight that quote in green. Whenever you have a TDA, you want to make sure you have a quote. 
So if you go through it and you go to highlight your own green sentence, your own quotation in your own paragraph, and you can't, that means that you are writing a paragraph that's not very good. This iron, oh, there we are again. I'm going to switch to purple. This iron, there's the iron there, there's the iron there, and matching names symbolize, oh, that's the uh, Joe Iron Shell. Joe Iron Shell matching name symbolize the spiritual life and there's that spiritual journey again so i'm going to put a circle around that and i'm going to get spiritual life of martin's great grandfather and i'm going to highlight this part red if he had thought the iron random and useless comma then he would not have kept it as protection during those evil days this important object was a symbol of family and spirituality to Martin's great grandfather, grandfather, and now Martin. There he is taking that journey. Please make your screen look like mine. Nice work.